Guys, holy sh**, I can't believe this just came. I have been waiting such a long time for this. It's, well, like two days for it to be on UPS. But anyway, I've been tracking it for the last few days. It just came. My hand is literally shaking right now. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm just, just kidding about that one. It seems like every time someone gets something new, they, they say something like that and they show their hand shaking. But you know you're officially an adult. Where the equivalent to getting a credit card in the mail like this is like opening up a Red Ryder BB gun on Christmas morning. I guess this is what it's like to be 28 years old. Or maybe I just need another hobby. But seriously, all jokes aside, I never thought I'd be able to get a hold of this credit card, which is the JP Morgan Reserve Card. Now, typically, in order to even become eligible to get this credit card, you need to be a JP Morgan private banking customer with more than $10 million in investable assets just to get the credit card invitation. That places this credit card as one of the most exclusive credit cards you can possibly get. In fact, I mean, I've seen a lot of credit cards and I consider myself a credit card nerd. I've only seen one other person have this particular credit card. And before you guys think that I have $10 million sitting with JP Morgan Private Bank, I do not, but I was able to become a private banking client, and through that, I was able to get the invitation to get this credit card. Even if you compare this to the American Express Centurion Black Card, which is another invite-only card, they'll typically extend that offer to people who spend more than $350,000 per year on their American Express, which if you run a business or you have high ad spend or high expenses and you charge everything through the card, it's a relatively easy number to reach. But a $10 million invite-only credit card is definitely on another level. This is also a credit card that many people don't even know exists. I tried to get this card a year and a half ago as a Chase private client and the guy I was talking to had no idea what I was talking about. He thought I was talking about the Chase Sapphire Reserve and I kept trying to correct him and tell him no it's a JP Morgan Reserve had no clue it was even available, and he worked at Chase. So this is definitely something pretty unique. So let's go ahead, let's unbox this, and I'll talk about some of the perks associated with this card. And by the way, I totally understand that this could be perceived as like a weird flex video, and it's definitely not my intention to have this come across the wrong way. And I'm sure if the YouTube algorithm ends up pushing this video to my non-audience, I'm gonna get some really interesting hate comments from people who just don't understand credit cards, and don't understand the perks, and think they're all stupid, and think that this is just a waste. But for someone like me who now has over 12 or 13 credit cards and I have over half a million points right now and keep in mind I've been using my points consistently for free airfare and I still have over half a million points. Something like this is really about just sharing a cool experience and where I can go over some of the perks and benefits of owning a card like this and how this compares with other credit cards that are out there. Plus I remember watching unboxing videos to this card when it was called the Palladium card years ago and that to me was super inspirational so it's so cool to come full circle and now I can make my own unboxing video of the JP Morgan card. So with that said, let's unbox this. So it comes in a box like this, let's just you could tell I'm not this good at doing unboxing videos, but let's see. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. That is very cool. So this is what it is. It's actually a pretty heavy box for the most part. And let's... So I realized as soon as I opened it up, the credit card number's on the front. Uh, so yeah, I got it. Let me, let me re-edit that part. All right, so anyway, pretend that didn't happen. And this is what happens when you open it up. Look at that, the presentation is actually pretty nice. This reminds me a lot of the American Express Platinum where the credit card is served on like this metal board right in the middle of a box like this. This is pretty nice. This almost has the texture of just like leather, which is very cool. And then you get this. Welcome to the JP Morgan Reserve card. Oh, that's that's nothing special. It's just like a it's just a piece of oh no, no, it opens up. Just some random stuff there. That's that's really not important. Let's let's get to the card though. So it, it almost feels like leather. It's it's not leather, it's just like some sort of very light fabric. So let's get the card out. So this just pops out. It's a pretty heavy card. So this is full metal. I think there, there's some palladium in this card. I'm not sure of the exact content, but uh, it definitely has some weight to it. Actually, you know what? We can pull out the, uh, the American Express card. Uh, basically, they're both metal. This is significantly heavier. Yeah, I mean, it's very obvious weight difference. This feels almost like 50% heavier than the American Express card. Uh, and then you compare that to the Chase Sapphire Reserve, I mean, this card just feels like super light. I mean, this could, this card feels like it could really just fly away. This really has a significant amount of weight to it. 
Okay, so let's see what else is in here. So as you can see here, it's pretty similar to the Chase Sapphire Reserve where you have a $300 annual travel credit, three times points on travel worldwide, dining credits, one point for everything else. Uh, I'm pretty sure it just has, yeah, yeah. So you have airport lounge access right there, obviously global entry, uh, no foreign transaction fees, VIP access. Ooh. Okay, service protection. Okay, so it's just like the, the normal stuff. That's, that's fine. Okay, let's see. Now we got the terms and conditions. Let's see. I mean, it's, it's kind of, oh, I, I just could have done that. That's, that's good. All right, so that's just like the, the normal stuff. Okay, so nothing special in there. Put this back. Put this back. So that's pretty, pretty cool. I do like the box. Uh, the American Express box, in my opinion, was pretty much just the same, if not slightly nicer, because that came on wood. I mean, you would think if you have 10 million bucks and you're getting a credit card, you'd at least want something like, you know, suede, or maybe like an Alcantara, but I guess this'll do. Now, just to some background here, originally this card was branded as what's called the JP Morgan Palladium card, and if you couldn't guess, the card was made of palladium. It was estimated that the card itself was worth about $800 to $1,000 worth of palladium, depending on the market value at the time. However, when Chase launched the Chase Sapphire Reserve, which is this card in 2016, JP Morgan palladium customers were extremely upset because this card had all of the same benefits as the palladium card did for an annual fee of only $450. The Palladium card had an annual fee of $595. So in 2017, JP Morgan discontinued the Palladium card and simply just rebranded it as the JP Morgan Reserve card. It's essentially the exact same card, except they lowered the annual fee to match all the perks and features of the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Now on the surface, the benefits between these two cards are pretty much exactly the same. They both have a $450 annual fee. They both give you a $300 travel credit annually. They both give you free complimentary lounge access and global entry and all the other same stuff. It's pretty much like the same card, except one is this and one is that. Except I wanted to get this card for a few reasons. The first and most obvious one is that it's basically just a, a subtle flex. I mean, just not many people have this card. It's rare. I had the opportunity to get it, so I absolutely just took advantage of that. Now, just like any good credit card, there should be a sign-up bonus. And with this card, I get 60,000 points when I spend $4,000 in the first three months, which, of course, I had a whole bunch of real estate expenses coming up anyway, so so I may as well just put it on this card and get the 60,000 points, then put it on this card and get pretty much nothing. And by the way, for me, about 60,000 points is really equivalent to like two and a half round trip plane tickets to anywhere in North America. And I would value that at probably about $1,100 just for putting expenses on this card. Now, number three, one of the other great benefits of this card is that I can get the $300 travel credit for this year in 2018, and then January 1st, get another $300 in travel credit for 2019. That is $600 over the next like three months. So pretty much my plan is here, I can discontinue using the Chase Sapphire Reserve because like I said, this is the same thing. And I already got the 100,000 points for this, so now I can downgrade it to the Chase Freedom, which is a free card because I don't need to be spending $450 a year for each of these cards when this one does the exact same things as this one. And then of course, you know, like I said, I had the opportunity to get this card which is arguably just, I think, way cooler than this card. I, I get it, subtle flex, but I mean, let's be real here. Like, I'd much rather have this card than this card. And by signing up for this card, I get 60,000 points, $300 travel credit this year, $300 travel credit January 1st. So when you add that up, I'm really getting about $1,700 worth of value. And when you subtract the $450 annual fee on that, it's really like I'm making $1,250 in value just by getting this credit card. And I ended up getting a really cool credit card I never imagined I would get, and I can make cool unboxing videos now on YouTube for the JP Morgan Reserve card. And there aren't that many unboxing videos on this. I think I only found like two or three on YouTube. So I'm definitely top five, I think, in terms of this card unboxing. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I hope this didn't come across as like the wrong way of like, some weird flex or anything like that. I mean, people get new cars all the time. And they show off like their brand new Lambos and Ferraris and stuff like that. You know, I, I show off a new credit card. So like that, that's this type of channel. I'm not flexing on like, you know, mansions and stuff like that. Uh, no, I flex uh, duplexes and credit cards. So if you want to see more duplexes and credit cards and, and uh, Lotus in the back, 
Make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, smash that notification bell so YouTube notifies you anytime I post a video. Also, if you followed me on Instagram, which you absolutely should, just follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this like a week ago. I think I post YouTube videos like a week later after I post like little stuff like that on Instagram. So if you wanna be early on this stuff and know what I'm about to unbox before I even post about it, uh, definitely add me on Instagram. Also, I have a private Facebook group in the description for anyone who's interested in real estate, real estate investing, real estate agenting, real estate mentoring, real estate coaching, real estating, uh, anything in real estate, the link to that is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Oh, by the way, one more thing I totally forgot to mention is that the other person who has this card told me to be aware of metal detectors because this card will set them off. That is absolutely insane if a credit card can set off a metal detector. Uh, so we may have to go and test this out.